Good day and one what fly squad. Welcome back to another Thursday trip report. My name is Jaden. I'm at Tokyo Narita Terminal 2. Today I'm going to fly Cathay Pacific A315 business class from here to Hong Kong. Because I'm flying business, I'm super excited. And we're going to check out the JL first class lounge later. Now without further ado, let's head inside and check in. Cathay Pacific has six daily flights from Narita to Hong Kong. One of them goes via Taipei. Today we're flying on one of the non-stop services. Hello. Yeah, yeah, uh, Emerald. Emerald. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Priority passengers flying Cathay Pacific from Narita have their own check-in aisle. And then you may proceed to the One World Fast Track Security. It was really efficient today. Security and immigration all done within three minutes. In Terminal 2 International, there are four One World lounges. They are Cathay Pacific, JL First Class Lounge and two JL Sakura Lounges. My mum is Qantas Platinum or One World Emerald, so today we got access to all four of them. We picked this one to go in. The Japan Airlines First Class Lounge, it's located right after security. So the area we were in just now was the lounge area upstairs. We're now going to check out the dining area, also upstairs. The lounge right now is super quiet, probably fewer than 10 people. Welcome to the dining area. Here you'll find plenty of tables and chairs. I'm pretty sure that pre-COVID they did buffet here. But now what you would do is to scan the QR code on each table and order your food from there. The moment you sit down, they'll give you a hot towel to refresh yourself. We just ordered our food on our phone. It's gonna take a while for them to bring it out to us. So now we're gonna check out what we can get from the bar. So you can help yourself with champagne, sake, spirits and wine. For non-alcoholic, there's also soda, coffee and tea. So that was one great lunch we had in the JL First Class Lounge. And just so you know, if you arrive during the breakfast and dinner time, you'll be served fresh sushi. Unfortunately, during lunchtime, it's not available. So we missed out on that today. Now we decided to check out what's downstairs. So downstairs, you'll find shower rooms. You'll need to book a room via your phone. Simply scan the QR code again at any table. I'm not taking a shower today, but I'm going to check out the bathroom. It's quite cozy and pretty. There are several larger cubicles with a sink. It's perfect for those who don't need a shower but want to brush your teeth. And anywhere you sit, you'll get a towel. The JL staff really look after you. Before long, it's time to fly to Hong Kong. On my way there, I walk past the Cathay Pacific Lounge, which we're gonna check out next time. And from here, we can see our aircraft that'll bring us to Hong Kong. A six-year-old Cathay Pacific Airbus A350-900 Bravo Lima Romeo Papa. Hello. Thank you. Welcome on board Cafe A350-900. This is business class in a one-to-one -one configuration across two cabins. Our seat today is in the rear business cabin, 21A. There are only three rows in this cabin. On this five-hour flight to Hong Kong, we're given a bottle of water, a business class menu, a blanket and a fluffy pillow. Now for the seat features, we've got this large touchscreen TV, an ottoman, you've got storage compartment here, it's big enough for a handbag, and when you close it, it becomes a part of your bed later when you decide to sleep. Here you've got a mirror, pouch, headphones, a USB port, and universal power socket. And then right next to you, you've got a reading light. You don't press the button, by the way, you turn the button. You also have a TV remote and seat control buttons. Tray table can be found underneath this large cocktail table. It's more than big enough for your laptop. During the meal service, you can push your table slightly forward and access to the aisle. 
plenty of leg room of course, and here you'll find your magazine and safety card. So that's it for the seat features right now, I'll show you the bed and recline after takeoff. Uh, good afternoon ladies and gentlemen, it's the captain speaking, welcome aboard Cathay Pacific Flight 527 Direct to Hong Kong. We are ready to go up the front, we're just waiting for the cargo door to close and a few passengers to join us. Uh, once we get going, the flight time is 3 hours and 58 minutes. Expecting uh, generally smooth flying conditions throughout the whole flight, if I do suggest a way of our city to be simple, comfortable, fast at all times. Your flight service manages Connie very shortly, she'll be showing the aircraft safety briefing to this uh, contact court information, so I do ask you to be full attention. We'll be back to you again just prior to the top of the set with your arrival time and the weather condition is owned by Nettles and Relax. You're the Catholic Pacific Service, thank you. Before takeoff, we were given a welcome drink and hot towel. For welcome drink, there's OJ, champagne, water, and Cafe Delight. Cafe Delight is a mocktail. We're now airborne, and I would like to show you the in-flight entertainment. On Cafe, you're spoiled with choices, plenty of movie selections, including international films, as well as TV shows like HBO and BBC. Here's the flight map, it's interactive, you can zoom in and zoom out to wherever you want. There are two external cameras on board, both of them face forward. Now for your information, this flight was taken back in September 2023, in October, Cathay has updated their in-flight entertainment system interface. The layout is now different, but still plenty of choices when it comes to options. I'm in my own relaxed mode right now, legs on the ottoman, slightly reclined my seat as well, and I put my pillow behind my head. The meal service is about to begin, the crew just placed a cloth on my table. The service began with a cocktail service. I got a Cafe Delight and mixed Japanese nuts. I never really liked Cafe Delight before, that being said, I've only ever had it in the lounge and also as a welcome drink on the ground, and I swear it tasted better in the air. I pre-ordered the vegan meal online. So here comes my starter, it's a rather large portion. So I got a bowl of salad, a bowl of fruit, still water, bread and margarine, and a plate of raw vegetables. My mum went for the normal regular option. She also got a bowl of salad, soba noodles, and for appetizer she went for the seafood option. I believe it was an octopus on the left, shrimp in the middle, and raw sashimi on the right. Now for the main course, this is mine. A plate of hot vegetables, including broccoli and potatoes. I didn't quite enjoy my main and starter to be honest, 
They're just a bit boring, especially for business class. This is literally just potatoes. You've got slices of them and also chunks of them. Meanwhile, the cabin crew topped up my cafe delight without me having to ask. It's an absolutely delicious drink to have in the air. For my mum's main course, she went for the lamb option. According to her and the other passenger in the cabin, it was really really good. Even the vegetables were perfectly roasted. This dish has better vegetables than mine. And apparently that was a very popular meal choice across all cafe flights. Now finally for dessert, I went for Haggadah's ice cream and also a fruit platter. Hello, welcome on board Cafe A350-900 Business Class Lavatory. There are a few on board, I believe three for business class. Some's got windows, some don't. So here we've got business class amenities, Bamford body lotion and hand wash. We've got hand sanitizer, hand soap. Got the mirror here. This lavatory is quite tiny by the way, but again, there are some bigger ones, I believe. Here you've got a cut hook. I'm now back at my seat, I'm going to demonstrate the bed mode. I've just fully reclined my seat. On short haul flights, Cathay don't provide mattress topper, but really it's good enough to have a bed on a short flight. There's plenty of room for your legs to wiggle around. You can extend this flap out to make your bed even slightly bigger. This armrest has a water bottle holder inside, and it gives you a bit of privacy when you lie down. If you're new to my channel, I upload a new report every single week, so be sure to hit that subscribe and bell button so you won't miss out again. You can also follow me on my social media like Instagram, Snapchat and Facebook. On Instagram, I post stories as I fly on a plane. On Snapchat, I post stories as I travel at my destination. Just now, I had a really, really good two and a half hours sleep and we've got 20 minutes left until we land. One thing I like about Cathay that a lot of people don't notice is that they leave the cabin check till the very last minute. So you've got a bit more time to use the lavatory one last time and a bit more time to lie down at your seat. In contrast, mainland Chinese carriers like China Southern ask you to sit upright an hour before landing. This is something definitely to keep in mind if you want to maximize your sleep. Now, I would like to take this opportunity to quickly conclude this flight right here, right now. Our journey today started at Narita Terminal 2. Cathay has a dedicated check-in aisle for priority passengers, so it was quick and efficient and then One World has recently reopened the fast track security so again really a breeze to go through that immigration and security. We then made our way to the JEL first class lounge. Unfortunately we missed out on the sushi, however the food that we tried, the service and everything was just perfect. On this flight to Hong Kong business class was about 70% full but in the rear cabin there were only three passengers including my mum and myself and the third passenger happened to be my subscriber. So we had a really good chat. It was like a one world fly squad cabin. The seat was really good and comfortable. Privacy was pretty good as well for a reverse herringbone without a door. Storage wise, it was top notch. It's brilliantly designed. I really enjoyed the in-flight entertainment content. The vegan meal was a letdown. However, the regular meal choices were pretty good. The cabin crew on this flight were lovely and proactive. Like they would offer me more Cathay Delight without having me to ask. So in conclusion, a great flight today with Cathay, but I'm definitely not going to order vegan food with them again. I've never had a good one with them. So for your airfare, I'm going onwards to Australia, so I pay a bit more than this. But if you're just booking Narita to Hong Kong return, you're looking to pay 188,000 yen or about 10,000 Hong Kong dollars. So that's it for the conclusion. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, comment down below and share this video with your friends. And importantly, if you haven't done so, please subscribe. It will motivate me to do more videos like this one. After landing, I'll show you a little vlog of Tokyo and Odawara. Basically the things I did before I took this flight. Now please enjoy the landing and I'll see you later in the vlog. Bye.
拜拜。拜拜。Oh, hi, all. Welcome to Tokyo. It's currently day three of my Japan trip. For days one and two vlog, I'll have them at the end of my Hong Kong Airlines Hong Kong to Tokyo trip report. So today we're going to check out from Hilton, Tokyo, and drive to Odawara. I'm currently catching up with my friend. I invited him for breakfast here. For my 23rd birthday this year in January, I actually was in Tokyo. We went to a sake bar together, but I left my beanie there, so he just returned it to me. His French living in Tokyo, and of course for my birthday cake, he gave me a baguette, and I ate the whole thing on my way to LAX on Delta. It was fun catching up with him. And now, before we actually go, I'm gonna use the gym. I rented a car yesterday from Narita, and I drove to Shinjuku and I parked my car at the hotel basement. I'm now gonna drive two and a half hours to Odawala. It'll be fun. We're currently halfway there. I got a bit hungry, so did Mum. So we're gonna have some dons. Another hour later, we made it to Hilton Odawara. We're checking in for two nights. Here's my cute little Toyota rental car. I really enjoyed driving it. Hello there, welcome to Hilton in Odawala. So we got this Japanese Western room. The moment you come in, you've got two doors, left and right. On the left, it's a toilet without a mirror. It's giving old hotel vibe, but pretty good still. On the right, you'll find the bathroom. Pretty cute. Do we have a bath? We do. Again, it's giving old hotel vibe, but we've got two very nice beds. Another big sofa. Welcome gift. While we were checking in, the staff has already brought our suitcases up, TV, and we just missed the wardrobe here. Very big. So we got Japanese Western room, so this would be the Japanese part. Take off my shoes. Wow, you could literally sneak in 10 more people, you know. Two people could sleep there, I don't know, eight people could sleep here. Wow. What's in here? Oh my god, bedding. So you can literally really set up a sleeping area here. There we go. How exciting. Oh, balcony. Almost forgot. Not forgot, but like, I didn't know. We got a sea view. How do I... Unlock that, unlock this, that way. Balcony. This is all part of the hotel area. Oh, you've got the swimming pool there. Gym, you've got, oh my God, you can play golf there. Tennis. Chapel, I, th I think. And there's also bowling alley, children playground, natural hot spring, onsen as well. Can't wait to check out all the facilities. We've got two nights here, not enough. So we've got biscuits as the uh, welcome gift. Hmm. So we checked out the bowling and the arcade. You do have to pay for them. And I just couldn't believe how big this place was. It must be so packed during Japanese holidays. Outfit check, we're gonna check out the onsen. They've got natural hot springs here. The onsen closes at 12, perfect for night owls like mum and I. Welcome to day four. We're having breakfast at the Hilton Odawala and then we drove to the local fish market. Mum's a big fan of sashimi, so naturally we came here. There's even a vending machine selling sashimi don.
いただきますアナウアウェイフォモダワラエスワンオフジャパンズビギスショッピングアウトレッツエスリリリリマセフエスビギデンベースターンイングランドアンドワンインパーレスフォーディナーウィハッラーメンインオダワラタウンソダッツイッフォダーヴォグ Thanks for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed watching this one. For day five, basically, I just drove back to Narita, returned my car, and then I took this Cathay flight, the true port that you just watched, to Hong Kong. And then the day after, Cathay first class to Sydney. I've already got that true port in the description down below if you want to check out. Thanks again, and a big shout out to all my patrons and PayPal Me members for your continuous support. It really means a lot. Cheers, and I'll see you next week. Bye.